So today I'm going to talk to you how I take the wedding umbrella shot at night. Stay tuned and we'll come right back and talk to you how I do it. like some of the examples of the sort of weddings uh, styles I do. Um, here we're going to talk to you through the umbrella shop. My name is Ian Petrie. Make sure you do click that like button and leave a comment below. If you do like uh, this video also do subscribe to my channel to get more future content that I'm going to release. I'm trying to do one a week for yourself. Without further ado let's jump to it. So effectively what you need to know is you need to know an off-camera flash so you're going to need uh, a trigger and a remote. Uh, basically a receiver remote for yourself. You want to put them on both on the same channel so it's triggering your speed light and your speed light needs to be either on a light stand or have an assistant hold it probably five, around five to six f feet away from your client behind them. Okay, Roughly height I'd say somewhere so it's aiming roughly around the uh, waist to chest sort of area sort of thing uh, and then the light should pick up everything else uh, for um, to light up the umbrella. Okay, that's the first point of course. Now the second point is obviously your umbrella, it has a little tag around it to hold it all fastened when it's pulled down, isn't it? Yeah, so you need to make sure that is not in sight, otherwise you're gonna have to Photoshop that out as well, okay? So if you can get it right in the camera, then it saves you a lot of hassle afterwards, okay? How far do you need to be from your subject? Well, that depends on, on how much light you're gonna actually use or how much of a shadow you're gonna get. Okay, so effectively it's nice to get the whole shadow in, so you might need to be quite far back. I've even shot somewhere around 20, 30 foot away, okay, um, to get sort of, uh, sort of result. And typically, I'm probably around 15, maybe 10 foot away from the client um, to get a nice good image. Simple as that, really, okay. Now in terms of settings, I always shoot with a low aperture and um, as low as ISO as I can possibly get typically around two to 800 um, at night is typically what I'm going for. And then I control everything else with my shutter speed yeah, if I need to, simple as that, okay? I shoot with my um, speed light at full power, okay? But on the controls, you can trigger it uh, and adjust the, uh, the uh, power using this, so you'd have to keep going backwards and forwards. Now what triggers do I use? You can pretty much use any you want, uh, but I effectively use the Young New, if I've pronounced that right, uh, YN622NTX for my uh, remote, and the uh, YN622N2 for the, um, for the trigger. So effectively, if you can see these, fabulous, okay. Um, what speed light do I use? I use uh, a Godex speed light, so it's got a nice round head. I find it gradiates the light much nicer, much more uh, softer. I personally prefer that, but it's a personal preference. Now, if you've got a speed light that has uh, effectively a rectangle style head, you just want to be mindful of which way you're having it. Are you going to have it landscape? We can have vertical. I would personally recommend vertical because then you just get that beam in the in the specific place where the clients are. Whereas um, if you have it landscape, you're going to get a bit of overspill over there, and it's just going to have more light around them as well. Okay, so it depends on the look that you want. Okay, now of course positioning your clients in a good position is is going to add to your photos as well. So for example, if you've got a big gate with lots of bars on it. If you can slightly open the gates like that and have your bride and groom in the middle of it, when your light goes off, you're going to get the, the shadow of the gate as well. So that can really add to, to your photo. If you haven't got anything like that, then it's no worries, but you try and be as creative as you possibly can. This can be really good if you can get it near a, uh, a lake or a stream or something like that where you can get a reflection of them in the water as well. You know, your creativity is, is your own effectively, okay? So that is very a very basic version of what I do uh, and how I do this. 
Um, if you would like me to see me actually do this shot uh, on site, then do drop us a comment and I'll try and do that a little bit another time when I've got a little bit more time to actually fit them in. I'm trying to do a tutorial at least once a week, um, so please do subscribe to this channel to uh, be kept updated with future content by clicking that little bell. Click that like button if you do like this video. I try to do my tutorials straight to the point with as, li as minimal waffle as possible as I find a lot of tutorials on, on YouTube. They just fill, it, fill the videos with lots and lots of nonsense in there. And it just pro it's just like five, 10, 20 minutes for a video that could be shortened into five, five or six minutes. So um, this is how I do mine. Uh, so if you like that, Again, drop us a comment and let me know. If you'd like me to fill it in with more information, more examples, etc., let me know. Because again, this is a, it's a working project, this, the, this channel is. Uh, it's only been going about a year, okay? Till then, uh, stay safe due to COVID and lockdown and all that, no matter where you are in the world. Keep shooting, stay safe. See you in the next video. Bye-bye.